Do you get a feeling this is where you'll find out where you actually sit? Yeah, yeah. That's a really good point. Like, uh, we play Eltham this week, who's on top of the ladder. Uh, they've got four NBL guys like Callum Dalton, uh, Angus Glover, who just won a championship with the Sydney Kings, and Sam Short, and then uh, Foxwell as well, who plays with the Phoenix, and great up-and-coming players. And they've only lost two games this season, so and we haven't been great at home. Uh, our road road... Most of our success has been on the road this season. So, huge couple of weeks. We've played seven out of our first 11 on the road, and now uh, we need to try and string some wins together on our home court. Is that the message this week that, you know, it's all right winning away from home and having the backs to the wall, so to speak, but if you can't back up at home, you're not going to get yeah. a high finishing position? Yeah, I think one of the key components for that last game, I think we, we, we would have taken care of Geelong. We were six points down with four minutes to go, and... Without Devon Watson, your, your leader on the floor, that point guard position is just so important. Um, so he was obviously injured, Ollie out. Um, so we've, we've sort of faced some adversity this year, but I could not be prouder of the group. And our plus minus, the stuff that we, our stats that we go off, these young guys have really stepped up. We don't lose anything when they hit the floor. So uh, it, it, we're getting better every week. Uh, we've just got to get some healthy bodies uh, back on the floor at the moment. I spoke to the Killside coach who won their first four games. Uh, they made the final four. We, uh, we beat them in the semi-final last year. They've lost six in a row, uh, all off two ACL injuries. And because it's such a short season, uh, you get a couple of injuries. And it's really hard to try and get some momentum back and recover from those injuries to... Uh, like, we play three games in the next eight days. It's, it's just hard to recover, and, and it is what it is this season. So I think a lot of teams are... Are facing those issues. I think this time of year where you're halfway through it's whoever can get on the the four or five game winning streaks and that's what we've always been good at. Um, we just got to try and get some healthy bodies again on the floor but we had a good training this morning and we'll prepare best we can with Eltham and that that will be really a test for us. How's that? Sorry, man, go. Yeah look I think the first game he was really good. I think it's hard for him to back up at the moment just getting some strength back into that hamstring so uh, again, the four or five days, hopefully, uh, we'll get him through this weekend, next weekend, and then we uh, finally get a break, mid-season break. So, uh, yeah, it's a big three. We've, we're treating it a little bit like a three-game series. We really want to try and take care of this uh, this next two or three games. So we can essentially sort of nursing him through to the yeah. break, is that right? I'm nursing... Stewie, whatever's in your pocket, can you stop? Yeah, I'm nursing a few bodies at the moment. I mean, you've got Zach and... Even Jared Bairstow and Sam Mack and Devon, I mean, they're carrying so much uh, court time at the moment. Um, and then we've got the young kids. I mean, even Jacob Richards is carrying a rib injury at the moment. He was sort of not sure whether he could get through last weekend. So it's, it's been a battle. But again, if you had have asked me it would be six and five right now at the halfway stage, I, would have, I probably would have said you're dreaming. But credit to a few of the guys that have... Put, them, put, a, put us on their shoulder and just got us through where they had to.